Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I'm here to show you some punch art today. I'm not usually very good at punch art, but I saw this really cute idea online and I wanted to recreate it. I started with this card here. I wanted to make a 3D pumpkin. I thought this was such a fun idea. So using the Harvest Hello stamp set and the Apple Builder Punch, I made this cute little pumpkin to put on this card. Uh, and I loved the look of the plaid tidings paper with this card. I thought it was so cute. So I moved on from pumpkins to hearts. And I made this little 3D heart using the heart punch pack. It comes with this really cute scalloped heart and also a smaller heart that fits right inside of it. And I used the heartfelt stamp set to stamp this. And I just thought that was such a fun idea. I really liked it. I wanted to go a little bit farther because I was so inspired by this. And I made some garlands that I could hang up at my house for different holidays. I thought this one was really fun for Valentine's Day. Again, using the perfectly plaid paper and the heartfelt stamp set, I made these little 3D hearts. And my favorite are my little pumpkin garland. Isn't it cute? I think that perfectly plaid designer series paper just makes it. I did use the Harvest Hello's stamp set to stamp these little pumpkins and punch them out with the Apple Builder Punch and then created these little 3D pumpkins. So fun. So I wanna show you how to make these little pumpkins so you can recreate this idea and use them for multiple holidays. I've already started to assemble a pumpkin here with my perfectly plaid designer series paper. I punched out seven pumpkins using the Apple Builder Punch. So it could be an apple. I used this as a pumpkin stem on my garland. I thought it worked really cute. So I punched this out. Now, it works really well if these are folded exactly how you want them folded because you want all of your edges to line up just like perfectly. So I took my Stampin' Trimmer and I used my scoring blade and I lined my pumpkin up just right on the middle of it. You can see kind of where it dips and that was the middle part. So I lined it up on my trimmer and just gave it a little score. And then I've got a perfect line that I can fold it on. You wanna fold it backwards. So I'm gonna fold it so that the wrong piece side of the paper is facing out. And then I'm gonna put this on to my little stack of pumpkins here. I've already assembled these and I'm just going to show you. You'll just stack it and adhere it just like that. I'm using Stampin' Sew Plus for these because it gives it just a little bit more of a hold um, where they're hanging and they're using or they're going to be out or kind of in the way. I felt like it needed just a little bit of a harder, tighter adhesive and this will give it a nice hold. So we're going to line it up just like that and you end up with a little fan of pumpkins like that. And I want to show you how I added this to some ribbon because before you adhere that last part, it's a little bit like an accordion like that. And it's just really simple and easy to take the ribbon you want to use, slide it into your fold, into the middle of the accordion fold, just like that on one side. And then you want to open it up and fit it in on the other side. So it'll be right in the center of your little pumpkin there, just like that. And then we're going to take that final flap and we're going to add some more Stampin' Seal Plus. And then we're going to fold that over back on top of itself so that the sides match up. Just like that. And then we'll have our cute little pumpkin. You can fluff him back up, hanging on our garland just like that. So let me show you again. Here's the little pumpkin garland that I did. I also made some of these cute little curly cues to go along and added the stem. Um, I made these just by wrapping some baker's twine around a pencil and hairspraying it. 
and then waiting until it dries and pull it off and I use glue dots to adhere it to the inside of my pumpkin. I thought it just added a little bit of a splash of color and it was really cute. I hope you've enjoyed this project and it's inspired you to think of different ways to use the punches that you have on hand. If you don't have any punches on hand, Stampin' Up! has a beautiful offering of punches. You could grab some and create to your heart's content. Let us know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.